Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is another Sysmo Structure software tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a pushover analysis on a infill wall uh, framing structure. So this type of structure is quite uh, popular, and it is two three kind of method that you will uh, create a numerical model. In case if you have experiment, then you can create a numerical model, such as we have called the shear model and also stroke model. So the stroke model is a double diagonal uh, brassing and changing the stiffness or the existing behavior of the, this uh, infill wall to a strut model and also we have uh, another method that's called shear model uh, here is an, uh, a research so they did the experiment and finally they created some uh, used that the same two three kind of models you also have plenty uh, yeah this one is this one and this is the second method and this is the third method um, so you have lots of uh, choice to select which one is uh, great, good and which one is not and also in case if you have experiment then there is uh, this uh, software that can provide you uh, a lot of information regarding to creating that kind of model so now uh, this is an example it's not an experiment it's just a, a random uh, example I'm gonna uh, say this is four meters and three meters height four by three meters height I'm gonna model this one and 200 is the thickness of this wall and uh, beam is uh, 300 by 400 millimeter and 300 by 300 millimeter so uh, you can use this modeler uh, to the best way is this one and you can it comes to the story so I'm gonna just consider one story and creating the new project the unit you can uh, before here comes to here and from option you can change the setting you can change the unit so my unit is millimeter and I used ACI here. now before we start the model let's check the grid and you can see the grid is uh, step, edge step is one step to three edge step is one thousand millimeter or one meter so I understand the size of the grid now let me draw the column so I check the column and here is the column I can geometry and selecting a square 300 by 300 in case it's it's I say this a random and I will uh, keep this section as a default and uh, let the program provide me reinforcement and rebars if I go to reinforcement rebar it's the available rebar is this one but if you have some experiment then you can come to the here uh, uh, the materials change the materials the reinforcement here so if I this is four in the corner so that four is okay so in two in the bottom one one is I'm not going to be zero so then you can see zero if then a zero so that just four is okay the same things you can change the transfer uh, reinforcement as well so uh, like this so I select this random so now my uh, snap is activated I can uh, go to back to view here and I select this center so center and yeah this is the center of that node and I created one column here and the second column is about four meters. So now one, two, three, four meters. It comes to here, and this is four meter. So this two column is created, and the second is I wanna define my infill brick materials. Now this is the brick, and so let's suppose the length of the brick because we will use uh, one brick like this, and other bricks just in two, uh, one in x direction, one in y direction. Uh, you can come to here, change the geometry, the materials, the geometry, everything you want. So I'm select the metal one. In the material, you can uh, increase the length of that. So this is a standard brick. If you have some um, some user um, appropriate uh, brick, so like in case if you hundred, so that means your brick is one hundred millimeter. So you should select one hundred and the height is like, like 50 millimeter as much as you want so the mortar thickness is one centimeters now you also can change the uh, the, the membrane compressive strength so you have to do a compressive test and you'll see the this main compressive strength and you give it so now i give 15 and this is five the compressive the tension yeah so, so the, the main mortar compressive strain and the uh, main brake so the mortar is actually should be higher than 10 and this be 15 
so these two uh, two parameters two uh, string the material string should giving and also you can give the uh, wall specific weight uh, now uh, we want to draw that wall and here is from center to center so one thing is that this wall is not uh, this column is not corrected so I'm going to back to uh, just I want to select this one and let delete it and I'm going to go back to the column and selecting that so now, now it seems the column is okay again go to the people in the infill web so now it's okay um, now we uh, model the column and also infill web uh, infill uh, wall and next I want to draw a uh, I want to draw a beam so the beam is uh, uh, let's use uh, 300 by 400 so you can change the same like the enforcement as well as and in the start in the middle in the end so I will keep is uh, as a default for your own project you should uh, give your own so now I have draw everything including uh, infill wall column speeds so before I uh, go to back to the uh, the analysis part and I should see in a 3d I can see in a 3d and here is my 3d so here is one extra column is added so I'm gonna delete that one so this is the creation model it's a solid element so here is yeah here is the column now we have infill, uh, infill wall and also beam columns. So the program automatically, when I exit the modeling, it won't ask me, do you want to uh, uh, save the modeling? If in case if you later you want to edit, modify, then you can hit. So I'm gonna go infill. Now here is, it asks me to specify some nominal lateral load. So let's suppose this structure apply. Uh, we will apply it about uh, two hundred kilonewton shear force to the top of the structure so it's 100 here 100 here now uh, we are in the system track analyzing part and you can see here so this is the this area is boundary condition this area is boundary condition and uh, we want to uh, uh, perform the analysis but before performing analysis we want to check uh, how this element is changed from the uh, giving properties to the specific model so you can come to the element classes in the element classes you check infill so that infill automatically uh, used this called infill stroke model so this infill stroke model is, has this one so this is infill stroke model so which is a two diagonal uh, pressing method so with comparison intention and this is the shear model we also have this is the shear curve uh, you can select shear curve and you can give the shear boundary strength but when we defined the properties of the structure earlier so the program automatically calculate for us so you can see everything here now you also can include some damping for the structure we ignore the damping and this parameter is automatically completed uh, calculated from the previous uh, giving data so now we want to go to the applied load and you can see the applied load in the two nodes so totally 200 kilonewtons. We also call in the loading phase. Uh, the loading phase is a response a static pushover analysis and it's 50 step. And the control node is that top node. And the maximum target displacement is uh, about 600 meters. So you can increase this or you can reduce this uh, based on your project. So now we're gonna give it uh, 10 centimeters. So now we are finished and I'm gonna go to the uh, processing. In a processing and I have to run but before then you ask me to save the model if I go to save the model and I can call tutorial tutorial one and I'm gonna run it so, now uh, it's quite fast and you can uh, use different model which I already shown and you can optimize your result with the experiment so now the result is completed I can go to post processing and in the post processing we can go to see the deformation of the structure yeah, you can see the information of the structure and also uh, we can come to the um, target displacement result and you can see the target displacement result is this one 
So this structure with this uh, uh, criteria have these parameters. You can see this point is here, and you can see there, giving the Uh, it's called damage limitation. So this is the damage limitation in this uh, displacement the structure start to damage and this uh, is the significant damage and This point is the called near collapse. So in one centimeter uh, less than one centimeters. It will collapse uh, And also you can see the stiffness the effective if stiffness and this is the If you y which is the yield strength is giving almost uh, 85 so around this this is the the yield strain which is using linearization data and also the same is equal to 0 0.2 centimeters uh, so this is the uh, pushover curve and you can uh, uh, select all data and you can copy selection and you can go to the excel so if i go to here i'm gonna call paste it now uh, let's see here this is the step times and this is the displacement I can select this one this is 10 centimeters I we have to make it a little using millimeter and you can use this curve so this is the pushover curve so this is the pushover curve and if I go back to here yeah, I can you can make some changes such as the like the color the thickness is something else and I'm gonna using this one so like this, this is the pushover curve of this uh, this intro uh, mass only wall structure um, so you can get, get this the linearized data as well and you also can uh, draw this one copy selection and you can come to here and paste it so then you can come through here and then select the data and if you here you can call it push over and the second one is uh, called idealized elastic plastic uh, gaze curve so this is the x this is the x and this is the y So this is the ide idealized elastic plastic curve, and we uh, idealized elastic plastic curve. So like this, because I use the this curve, I go to the format uh, here, and I want to change this to be just using uh, character this one. So this will okay. Now you can see this is correct, and this one is also we can change it to this one. So this is the uh, pushover curve and also the idealized linear, idealized linear elastic curve, elastic plastic curve. Uh, so if there is any question, uh, please put in a comment and I will find time to answer. And see you next time.